up, peeps? It's your girl, and I should come back to Criminal Takes. Well, it's the time I got this horror short time, and this one is through Ulta. This one is titled Creep Hunters. Definitely intrigued because of the title. So with that said, let's go and jump into it. Say the rest of my thoughts in the name, guys. There's even a spot on this hand, isn't there? Yeah, ever since that gym opened. Where we live? We are rolling and live streaming now, yep. Viewers? A couple. Just give it a minute. Kill. Guy, I think we should mention the religious stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just shut up and fill him, okay? She can't talk to me like that. <laughs> this is a work environment. <laughs> you are such a little faggot, do you know that? Oh, Once again, man. live stream. Maybe less homophobic than Mark's You just said nobody was watching. Put the go now, Gary. Homophobic? You want this home right now? Let's get the show on the road. Alright, so guys, it's Gary here from the Creep Hunters. And it's 8pm. And we're at the back of the old Max Garrett's car park opposite Kalevin, as instructed. And we're here to meet a fella who calls himself John, says he's 40, and he thinks he's chatting a 12 year old girl. And it's the usual filth, you know, where uh, are you a virgin, do you masturbate? Not in those words, but you get the gist. Anyway, unfortunately for John, he's coming to meet the Creep Brothers, and I'm gonna catch him live on video. Nailed it. That's him. That's it? I'm here, where are you, he says. Hold on. Sally? Yeah, got it. Okay. What that window? We're here. Yeah. That already? Yeah. Already. Which one is it? It's the one he's on. The fellow that looks like a pedophile. <laughs> well, they're both on their own. Could be the taxi guy. Are you blind? It's him for fuck's sake. It's creepy fat head. No. <laughs> Copy that, Liz. <laughs> Statistically speaking, your typical paedophile is shorter in height than average. That is pure shit. Facts don't have opinions, man. Are you ready? Yeah, hold on. I'll do the tag, yeah? Wait. Turn on the light. Let's go, go Pants Creep. Creep. Hashtag Creep Hunt. Alright, well, let's go. Showtime. Crossing car park now. Approaching suspect. Shoot, Peel. Keep the load off and kill. I know. How are you, man? Are you, John? Jesus, the hack of this chap. You'd be wise to cooperate, sir. Who are you? Speak up there, pal. Don't be sure. Are you, John? Answer him, you kiddie fiddler. Guess why, who are you? It's him. Hit him with the light. Mm. John, we're the Creep Hunters, and you think you've been talking to a 12 year old girl online? What? Is this you? <sighs> Speak up, we said. You've been talking to 12 year old girls online about their vaginas and their poos. That's it, online grooming, which is illegal. Not to mention disgusting. Are you religious? Calm down there against my religion. Just... You don't want to say, I want to come inside you. Uh... Hold on, mate. Please, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry? Mm. I think I saw you we showed up instead of a 12-year-old girl. You're very lucky it's us. We're professionals. There's people out there allowed to take creeps like you up the mountain and burn them alive. And maybe that's justice. What do you think of that creep? I'm sorry. Chop that fucking Mickey's off. Are we okay now? Are we okay now? We'll smash your mm. fucking face in, Jamie. Easy, guy. Don't mind him. Oh my God, can I go? Drop him! The one of citizens of F Section 24A, the police have been calling. This has been recorded both for your protection and ours. Put your leg on him! Come on, Frank! Oh my God, give him his hat. I'll go and give him his hat back. Fuck his hat! Turn off that radio! What's that fucking bag's name? Get this fucking little in. Hey, up! What's going on here, guys? Help! Help! Stand back, sir. We have this under control. Let me go. Three on the one. Fucking dark strength. What are you going to do with him? Huh? Then sort him out. Ah. Uh, oh, fuck's sake. 
Help! Listen, we're an online group called the Tree Punters. This man is a suspected paedophile whom we believe has been grooming young girls on the internet. Help! Use the Tree Punters? Yes, sir. Now, please, stand back for everyone's sake. Relax, I watched the show. It's not Gary, is it? What did I just tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary, he's just walking right past me. Get back. Get back. I'm not the bogey fucker here. He's the pedo. Uh, For legal reasons, we can't actually call him a pedo. Get no bleeding help on me, you dirty bleeding pedo. Scratch your bleeding. I He's the bogey pedo. Everybody calm down. That's not me. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm Dirty fucking yoke! You can't tell for the fuck off! Fucking tow rag! Oh fuck! Something to call me with some! Oh shit! What's in your pocket? Fucking fucking nails! Fuck, Gary! Put the fucking face in the things off you! Stop him! Come on, let's go! Come on, stop him! He's a beat up! Gary! Please! Get the authorities, it's like. We've blocked the exit. Okay, good. Let's wait for the police. Fuck the police! Look at his fucking face out. This shit goes down. Well, in that case, I'm just filmed from here. Oh, don't be such a fucking pussy. Oh, God. Oh, I'm trying to conduct business here. Fuck off. I'm not putting him down. Grab him. Anything like that. You don't have to just stay behind me with the light near the ground, all right? This, uh, Steven, 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 yeah. All right, black exit. We're going in. This is really fucking irresponsible, guy. Mm -hmm. Baby, run. All right, Al. You ready? Come on. Don't worry, you'll get your lawyer saying here. Fucking stay, yeah? Shut the fuck up, you, you dope. <laughs> Keep going, Al. Shit. Keep going, Al. I'm trying. I told you about buying that online shrink and trying it, didn't I? How do I? Get the flashlight out, right? this horror short these are the ones you want to be longer but you got to deal with what you get <laughs> so much potential if it was longer needless to say you see this group you know group of three who are going out here calls themselves creep hunters pretty much using social media or kind of flushing out individuals who are talking to underage you know you know kids and then setting up a meet 
and then pretty much, you know, when they're recording, you know, where they set up so you know what's going on, say their name, whatever, now that, get the information with shows, the correspondence back and forth, and then they go out there and they confront. Now, with this one, at first I was thinking it might have been the other guy, but it really was him when, of course, they do confront this man. And just start, you know, asking questions and another. And he's just like, oh, sorry, you know, whatever, you know, is, is am I okay now? Trying to leave or whatever. Doesn't seem to be going the way they want it to go. Now, mind you, at first, you know, he has gloves on and everything and all that. They kind of get into a scuffle, one of the, the, the big guy and all that. And just like, you know, maybe we need to call the police. We need to just like, no, you know, we're going to take care of this, whatever. No, we made it, making a citizen's arrest. And with that said, it's just like, okay, you're doing that. Did you call the cops? I first don't think they did. Things kind of take a turn. The other guy who's watching from a father go, I know who you all are, whatever, and all that. You know, they're like, stay back. Well, don't be mad at me. He's the pedo, and then that and the other. And then you see the scene where all of a sudden he kind of cuts her a little bit. His nails are long, and things start to take a real turn, a full 360. That man, I'm thinking some sort of creature, probably a vampire of some sort, clearly with the, with the fangs and then the nails, you know, and... Probably is, of course, trying to lure, you know, some underage because he wants to feed, you know, and not do anything of the intimacy, intimacy aspect, whatever, but definitely for finding his way to find, you know, some, you would just think, you know, middle night alleyway, whatever, and all, some, you know, person on the street, whatever, but no, this is the, his, the way of him going, but it gets out of hand when they kind of lose his, their grip on him, go to an area, and the guy's like, maybe we should call people, and we're going to take care of this, don't be such a you-know-what, and I'm like, girl, he's the only one out of the three of y'all who has some sense. I would have left him be, call the cops, wait if need be in your car until they show up and then try to find. So at least if he starts, you know, going off, let the authorities deal with him instead of you. I'm surprised. And you see what happens. The other gentleman who engaged himself into the situation ends up coming in there and all that. And then you see he's the one that gets bitten on his neck. The girl kind of knocks the guy out to get him off. But that doesn't matter because he eventually runs away. And then they run away to call the, telling the people who are watching from the as bystanders, call, you know, the ambulance and the police. So I'm like, okay, did you ever call him in the first place? If you all were going to do this sentence of arrest and just, you know, cuff, cuff him up or whatever you have and then take him to yourself and then what? Have the proof that you need from the video and all of social media? It's just like when you think you're an authority, you're really not. Stop trying to do the job of something you have no business trying to do, especially if you're not actually said authority. And this is where they had learned a lesson. You've gotten a, a man killed. <laughs> playing around trying to play you know grown up so to speak in this instance but I'm telling you it, it didn't and I said it could have been either one of that big guy or the girl the one with the cam the camera I give it to him because at least he was just like no I should, I'm going to stay back here I'm not going to go follow me to stay behind me I'd have left him just like that like no I'm going to let you learn the hard lesson and move this along <laughs> and get up out of here so that's why I wish it was on so we could see exactly what happened with those three whatever but you can see the camera whatever stopped the guy he rolled he turned it off or whatever unavailable and, and probably bolted you know because they're going to have to explain themselves they're probably not going to be able to put that video up because they're going to be like who has something to do with this part of this murder even if y'all didn't do it but everybody watching, you all were insinuating yourselves into the situation with this individual trying to get him. Somebody has now been bitten, is bleeding out, is dying right there, probably, and I think at the end, end up dying. And here you all are. So running from, from what you have caused. But yeah, in the end, like I said, stuff like that be all up in those movies when they're long, a long one. So, but then this is a horror short. We're going to get what we get. And it was a really a good horror short. So with that said, you guys comment below. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. You guys take care. Thank you.